Hey, how you doing? This is Matt from BuddhaWorth.com. I'm here with George Gujo. How you doing, bud? Good to see you again. Good to be here. Good to have you guys. Appreciate it. So we're here at a seminar here in Grand Rapids, and um, you know you haven't had a fight since the Billy Vaughn fight. What's on your plate? Not a Billy Vaughn. I fought Joe Duarte. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. The Duarte fight. I apologize. Um, you come hang out with everybody. Oh, this is our. Nah, he doesn't want to. <laughs> um, I had uh, after after the the, the Joe Duarte fight. Uh, four days after that, my my father passed away, and. Uh, Needless to say, my mom is a, is, a, is a very active lady. She she needs help. My, is, I got called out for family duties. You know, take care of my mom and um, got busy with my sister having fights. My wife had surgery. Had about six seven guys in the UFC strike force all together. Had to coach them. And also, I'm just now healing from an orbital uh, fracture. Oh, so, another orbital. Yeah, yes, yes. Had a little bit of orbital fracture. And uh, those things you can keep on training. You just can't get hit. So I keep myself in shape, train, do a lot of weight conditioning, a lot of pad work, a lot of boxing, but I just can't lively spar or, or do jiu-jitsu. So, uh, so he wants he wants my ball. So um, I, I'm, ta I'm taking the time, and I'm really looking forward to get back to the cage in the end of June, early July. And now, uh, were you contacted at all for the Columbus record? I, 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 was. I, I was. I was. I was contacted for the Columbus. It's my favorite. It's my favorite uh, month of the year to fight. It's right in my state. That state is 18,000 people crowded. I've never lost to Columbus before, but um, uh, I took my doctor's advice for the first time, and I did not. Uh, I couldn't fight because my, my bone wasn't strong enough yet. Uh, you said you want to get on the, back in the cage. Um, you know what's what's left in uh, that you want to accomplish left in your career? You got anybody in mind? You know, maybe. Uh... What have I accomplished? Nothing. Um, I just want to have a good fight. I really, I really felt like I had over you know 22 fights professionally and. Uh, I really never had a, a, a performance that I was 100% proud of, or that I think I did really up, fought up to my personal potential. That's all I want. I, I'm not looking right now to, I never call anybody out, I'm just looking to pick the fights that are interesting fight for me. Right. You know, and that there's a lot of guys in Strike Force and UFC that, that spark my interest. I'm definitely not, not going to be any stepping stone for, for these new young kids that want to come and, uh, and make a name out of, uh, for themselves uh, out of trying to beat me. You know, I'm interested in the former champions. And I'm going to go on, you know, Bill Evangelista and uh, rematch will be great. KJ Newells will be great again. Uh, Josh Dobbs will be a great fight again. Liar Beer Bomb. All those guys, all those top ranked guys, that's the only place my interest lies. Is that I have any interest in fighting newcomers. If I don't know your name, if I don't Google you to pop up with a hundred million, I don't have any interest in fighting. Right, if right. you don't have a name, I'm not fighting. You, you brought up the KJ Newells fight. Um, does that uh, fight sit sour with you at all? I mean, with, with the things that happened no. you know I mean, in the fight? What happened? I mean, a lot of people feel, myself included, you know, um, the, the knee to the down opponent, you know, the blatant after the bell hit. And, you know, a lot of that, in my opinion, was the ref's fault and not KJ's fault. But um, I was just wondering how that fight kind of sits with you. That fight sits with me incomplete. I like KJ. I don't really think it was his fault. It was mostly reaction. But at the same time, going over the tape over and over again, the fight should have been stopped by the referee and called the no contest. I had no idea what was going on after that late punch. I remember, right. I remember relaxing and then getting hit, going to the, going to the, to my corner, and Paul Bowers was in my corner, and all I could think about is that my corner man is so fat, <laughs> and I was laughing, so I was completely out of it, and I, and I was thinking, did I get punched after the bell, or, or did I not? Well, nobody's complaining, so maybe I should act cool. That's exactly what I was thinking about. I think I got hit after the bell, but nobody said anything. And the, the, the knee, the knee was, was, was clear, you can see the replay as many times as you want. I don't blame KJ Nose for anything, I think a fight's a fight. Um, a fist fight happened, I, I paid too much attention to the, to the ring and to the referee. I should never stop looking at my opponent when the bell rang. Um, KJ did his job, you know, I have no ill feelings, I have no regrets. Uh, if eventually a rematch comes around, um, then we have a, a clear fight and we see who's going to win for, for sure. I was asked why you never competed in competitions like an ADCC or something along those lines. I got invited. I was invited to the ADCC uh, a couple of times and I was competing with Jitsu with the Gi a lot when I moved here. If you go look back, I just stopped competing and, and that's sad to say it, I'll tell the truth, um, when it became all the advantage and all this difference in rules. Every single Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or Gi or no Gi competition now they carry their own set of rules. Right, right. I came back from Brazil, there's one set of rules. Guard pass three points, mount three points, uh, take down and sweeps two points. You know they created that advantage. There was, I started training really, really, really hard to go to competitions to have somebody pretty much kind of hold me down with the Gi and get one advantage and maybe win by advantage and celebrate like they won the Worlds. 
So it became so political that I really lost passion in competing with the Gi. I wanted something that was going to push me more and that was going to be a point game. Right. So I really focused for the last eight years, my whole entire life has been focused in being the best mixed martial arts I can be. You know, I know Jiu Jitsu will always be there when I retire. It, it's easy and I've been doing it for over half of my life. But uh, I think the Jiu Jitsu competition for the last 10 years got really watered down and crooked. Right, right. Literally crooked. Crooked, unfair, the point system is, is, is ridiculous. I don't have any desire to participate in Jiu Jitsu competitions anymore. Right. I don't do it. I haven't. I will when I retire. And then I moved to mixed martial arts, and now it's funny because mixed martial arts is following the same pattern Jiu Jitsu is. Right. It's getting weird. Yeah. You know, people are now showing stats like a football game. They play the fuck song. This guy take down st stats are 92%. This guy defense is such and such percent. This guy threw 74 punches and landed 50, so he wins the round. Seems real when I started, it was just a fight. Right. It was a fight. Right. And whoever wants to fight, want to fight. Um, I'll roll the punches and I'll keep doing my job and training my fighters, but I'm not going to lie to you if I say that I'm actually relieved that by the time I retire, I'm going to be happy to retire because the sport has gone has grown so much that uh, there's a lot of negative came up with it. Right, right. A lot of negative, a lot of politics, a lot of you must win, a lot of fight, a lot of great fighters that don't fight hard anymore. They just fight to secure their win. We've seen a lot of examples in the UFC. I don't have to drop any names. Um, it's my fault for being bothered that the sport changed so much. I roll with the punches. Like I said, I push my wife and my sister and my students forever. But to be honest with you, I'm, I'm semi disgusted with the way things are right now. Not only everybody's a fighter nowadays, everybody's just fighting to secure the win. Right. Nobody's just going balls out. That's why I'm one of Nick Diaz's number one fans right here. Right, right, I, like, right. I say whatever you want to say about that guy, he comes to fight. Yeah. You know, As long as you come to fight, I'm your fan. And now, I can count probably on my fingers in UFC, the fighters that really come to fight. Did you and think, think well, It's okay. Did you think Nick Diaz won that fight? I think I think Nick Diaz didn't win the fight. I think there was no fight. Right. I think what happened was the advertiser was gonna be a dog fight. It's gonna be a dog fight. There's two guys that come to fight. They're gonna fight so hard, and that was absolutely the opposite. Right. Nick Diaz came to fight, and Carlos Condit won a very smart, strategic game. Yeah, I agree. There was no fight. If you if you ask me who won the game, Carlos Condit won the game of running and kicking, running and scoring, running and scoring on his bicycle the whole time. Nick Diaz came to fight to the point that he got frustrated. Yeah. He was sick and tired of chasing the guy around, even if he got hit in the face. So, needless to say, I'm, the fans are going to agree with me. It was a very disappointing fight to watch for five rounds. I didn't like watching the fight. No, I agree. I want to see two, but Nick Diaz came to fight, the other guy came to win. A smart guy, I'll train my fighters to train to win. Right. The way I go down, I come down to fight. So we all love that. Yeah, I come down to fight. You know, if I win, awesome. But if I don't, I walk out with no regrets. Um, much a bigger fan of Nick Diaz. Right. Yeah, you know, I'm um, fan of Carlos Condit too. He did what he needed to do to win. But even if it cost me the win or loss, you never in your life gonna see me fight like that. Yeah, your track record speaks for itself. Yeah. Well, I always love spending time with you, buddy. I really Thank appreciate you. your time. Sorry about the interruptions. It's okay. As long as you guys can hear me, there he comes again. <laughs> it's been great, man. Thank yeah. you for watching. Thank you so much, guys. Take care, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>